there she blows. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas in July. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Well, welcome back to my channel. It is eight o'clock in the morning. I am at home still. Um, I'm just taking Maybell out to go potty and then I have to go to the shop. I am participating in a live sale today with Jeffrey from Real Nifty Vintage. It is his Christmas in July sale and he's asked me to come on his channel and show a few things that I have to sell too because let me tell you I got a lot of Christmas stuff and this is just the stuff that's left over things that I've had in the shop. This isn't counting the things that I have in my hoard at the house that I need to uh, go through and probably have another Christmas sale around Christmas time. My Christmas sale is going to be tomorrow. So this video is going to show you though, well, it's gonna show you a preview of some of the things that I'm going to be selling tomorrow in my sale. It isn't the greatest vlogs in the world, but it is what it is. And it's mainly a sale preview. That's mainly what it is. I just kind of call it a vlog. It really isn't necessarily a vlog, but I'm gonna try it today. See if I can make it a little bit more interesting. I do have some eBay orders to ship up today, so I will be talking through that a little bit as well. And let's just go ahead and let's see some Maybell, okay? There she is. She's going to go potty, aren't you, Maybell? She is doing so good. I've had a lot of people ask me how she's doing. She's doing great. She is sleeping through the night right now. She's, you know, just finding random pieces of grass and straw. We're actually standing on what used to be our swimming pool. <laughs> we filled it in at the beginning of summer and it's it's getting some grass. Right, Maybell? I'm going to finish getting Maybell outside and get her settled. Emma's going to stay home with her today and then I got to get to the shop and I got to get ready for Jeffrey's sale because I really don't have much. I mean, I've gotten the stuff out, but I don't have a lot of it priced and ready. So I need to get going and doing that. Say hi, everybody. She's being squirrely. Here's her watermelon man. She likes her watermelon man. But, you know, having a puppy is almost like having a newborn baby. You have to um, watch them at all times and teach them how to go potty. She's doing really good. But it's still a lot of work having a puppy. But she's so cute. Right, Maybell? Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Okay, just left the post office and I'm on my way to the shop. And um, I didn't realize that Jeffrey's sale was actually an hour before that I thought that it was. So I'm kind of in a rush so to get things done. So before I pack up my eBay sales, I'm going to get things pulled and ready for my sale with Jeffrey. So let's go to the shop and we'll start doing that. And then we will pull the eBay sales. And there's only like, I think two of them. So it's not gonna take very long anyway. Okay, so I have been busy, 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 like a little busy bee, buzzing around here getting things ready for Jeffrey's sale today. Because I I think I told you, I'm going live on his channel today to have a little Christmas in July sale. So let me just kind of go and show you the things I'm going to show today on his sale. And by the time that you watch this, it'll already be gone. Well, if it doesn't sell, then I'll sell it tomorrow. But um, let me go ahead and show you the things that I'm going to sell tomorrow, just real quick, because like I said, it they'll probably won't be available by the time you see this video, but I'll just go ahead and show them to you anyway. These are the things that I am selling on Jeffrey's channel. I, I bought this really cool uh, vintage tree skirt at a thrift store. I love it. I love the Santa on it. You've got a little bit of fuzz on your face, Santa. A left in tear tray, some candelier lights in their original box, some tree toppers, this Florence figure. She's in a little winter dress, so I thought I would go ahead and add her to the sale. This little uh, Regency Agency church, it does work. The little stained glass lights up a uh, nativity scene, some of these mercury ball um, picks, a sign that Emma has painted, and look how fun he is. 
Mr. Santa. Then over here is what I'm working on for tomorrow. Now, I haven't even priced any of the stuff yet, but I have some fun things like some fun vintage stockings. Look at these. Oh, they're felt. This one says Noel and that fun glitter. I think this one's an angel. Yeah, this one's an angel and it says Noel as well. And I love these. Ooh, Misty, don't break anything. These little fun, look at her eyelashes. I do believe she works too. I will plug them in. I do have one of these little Holt Howard angel candle huggers. There's, there's the Holt Howard tag. And this little guy, he's made in Japan. I just love Santas. You all know that. These fun angels I got at a thrift store. I just, I don't know. They're made out of cardboard. But look at their eyelashes. You know, I, I like the faces. They're very, they're very peaceful angels. But I have all the stuff in the box too. So it's going to be a busy day. I've got a ceramic Santa there. Strawberry shortcake candle. I got these at a thrift store over the weekend. Look at the little Prixie. He's encased in a Christmas ball. And then these vintage ornaments. They have a little... Oh, well, I just threw one on the floor. The one I threw on the floor is this tinsel one. They're plastic, luckily. And then these two, I think I'm going to sell with that, with those other Christmas bulbs. I do have some trays and some uranium glass. I'm, I think I'm going to sell that. I don't know. I may wait. You'll have to tune in tomorrow to see if I'm going to sell it in the sale tomorrow. It does glow. I Let me go up here and I'll get my trusty little uh, black light. This, this will be available soon too. Woo, science. But let's go down here and I'll show you the custard glasses or the sherbet glasses. They all glow. Isn't that fun? Boop, boop. It's like a party. It's like a party on a table. You know, if you're serving these, wouldn't it be fun to just have black lights all around? And when you serve them out, you'll just amaze your guests. Although you might get a little bit of uranium poisoning. So you probably, I don't know if I'd eat out of them, but they are pretty. They are pretty. All right, but I have all of this stuff. I even have, I have more stuff. So I, ugh, it's overwhelming tablecloths and tree skirts and aprons these fun noel i think that they're candle holders linens i don't know if i'm going to add you or not bear i may have enough stuff where i don't need you this is the fairy lamp that will be available tomorrow i try to have a fairy lamp with every sale and this one's a little frosted clear pagoda style okay i'm just tr been trucking along getting some stuff priced for the Christmas and July sale tomorrow. I Let me go ahead and show you a few things and then I'm gonna finish and then I'll show you some more. Okay, so these are some of the things. I do have a Rushton Santa. Now, I have this electric fireplace. It is still in the original box. It's never been opened. I'm going to sell it for what I want out of it. Just forewarning, it's going to be a little bit spendy, but it's worth, it's actually worth more than what I'm going to sell it for or what I'm trying to sell it for. So just, just know that. And then I have Soulless Santa. He has no eyes. See? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Soulless Santa. He's a classic. I do have a Rushton Santa. Did I already say that? I think I did. Uh, and uh, Okay, some Christmas clowns. Now, you know that clowns are not my favorite thing in the whole world. And I got these not too long ago. I just thought that they were different. They're made in Japan. They're Christmas clowns. Whatever. Okay. Uh, another of, the, of these little trinket trays. Norman Rockwell Santa. That's just like the classic Santa face, isn't it? You know, just that Norman Rockwell Santa this Noel planter and some ornaments and some linens and some this and some that. So it's going to be a good sale. I think so. Now there are a couple things that, um, oh, I forgot the pillows. I've got pillows. I've got pillows. Let me show you the pillow. These are all pillows that my mom has made. I've got 
the kitty cat pillow. And these are all pillows that have vintage buttons on them. That one doesn't have any buttons on it. Some of these don't have buttons on it, but there are, she's added like little embellishments to that and the little cross stitch cardinals. So I will have some pillows as well. Lots of angels too. Oh, and the, the biggest, the biggest thing is, look, I got a TV. I can watch TV. All I need is a bed and a shower and I can just move here because I feel like I live here anyway. Um, so I'm excited for the Christmas stuff. Listen, I have so much Christmas stuff that I will be having another Christmas sale probably in the 1st of November, probably, because uh, I have a lot that I need to get rid of. So um, I'm getting ready to go live on Jeffrey's channel. So I'm going to just kind of get in the mindset of that, go live with him. We're gonna go live on Jeffrey's channel. We're gonna finish pricing. I need to tidy up a little bit. Oh, we have to package eBay. We have to package eBay listings. So that will be after we go live with Jeffrey. I have, well, I know I have one sale. Actually, I have two sales. I have two sales. So we're gonna get those packaged up. Right now, I am live on Jeffrey's so channel, have... but I'm in the waiting room. But he's talking having his sale, and we have sold some of these things on his Christmas in July sale. Just got done with Jeffrey's sale, and so now I'm going to go back and pull. Now, I thought I sold two things on eBay overnight, but I just sold one thing. So let's go and let's grab what we sold. I do believe that they are these Shawnee planters. So we're going to see if that's what they are. And I'm going to go back here and get them. Back here to get them on the shelf of eBay. They are these little pretties. They are marked USA 574. They are Shawnee little Asian style planters. So these guys are going to get packed up and they're going to go to their new home. So let me get my camera tripod all set up and I will take you along with me to get these babies packed. I wanted to show you a couple things that I got at a yard sale over the weekend. I didn't really film, but I got this lamp. I think I paid maybe $4 for it. It does have the finial. It doesn't have the shade, but I thought it was kind of pretty. So I got that and I did get another planter. This one has this nice little um, metal tray this lime green color. I think I got these at the same sale. So I'm going to move these aside so I can clear off my area. I don't know about you, but I tend to make a mess and I have a hard time really getting it cleaned back up again. All of these things have been sold and people have messaged me about. So I've got to get this other stuff ready, but I got to make space because I'm a messy Marvin today. And I like to have all this cleared off before I start packing. So I'm going to move the lamp. I'm going to move the planter. And then we will start packing these little guys. They're not going to be hard to, sh hard to ship at all. So I will go through the process of what I do and how I uh, ship breakable things. Okay, that took entirely way too long to get this camera set up. But I have these little Shawnee... Asian inspired or Asian motif planters. So what I do with planters or glasses or anything that has like a hollow inside is I, and I don't know that this helps, but in my mind it does, but I will stuff it with paper. When I wrap it in bubble wrap, it will kind of help, um, you know, make it kind of even. If that makes sense any sense whatsoever but it's just what I do so that's my first step and then I put bubble wrap wrap them up one at a time and again I think I've showed you before the um just starting on one end and flipping it under and just rolling it and it's nice to be able to lay out your bubble wrap 
kind of an, on a flat surface. Just roll it, tuck and roll. I have my tape dispenser that is a game changer if you don't have one of these heavy duty tape dispensers. You're missing out. They're fabulous. I'm just going to take up each side. So I make it a little, a little nestled bundle. And we're going to tuck and roll again. Tuck that under and roll. Make sure that my bubble wrap is on a flat surface. I always try to make it to where my my customer can reuse the bubble wrap if need be, but I always err on the caution of really almost using too much bubble wrap and not enough because, you know, you don't want your item to break. Then I think, you know, I, I will use, sometimes put tissue paper on my items, but I think today I'm just going to show you really kind of a, a cheap way of doing it and very inexpensive way of doing it. And that's just with curling ribbon. If you want to, you know, wrap your packages up a little fancy, you can just use curling ribbon. I get, I usually get this curling ribbon. I've gotten this at Goodwill, Dollar Tree, the bins. I'm just going to just adds a little bit of flair to your package. Just makes it a little bit happier. Let's see if my fingers are going to let me tie today. All right, and I usually curly ends a little bit. Doesn't take a lot of time, but it just adds a little bit of something. Now with this one, I'll go ahead and get some more curling ribbon off. On one of them, I'll put all my information. Now I'm using these older cards that I had, and they had Poshmark on there too, but I just put a sticker over it. Um, these are just my old ones. I'm just using them until I order some more, and I'm going to lay that on top of this before I tie it. It just is telling, just thanking the customer and, and asking them if they would leave feedback, thank, thanking them for supporting a small business. So it just adds it on there like that and I will just curl these just a little bit. So it doesn't take a lot. Got some thank you stickers. So that's I mean, that's it, but it does show that you've added, you've put a little bit of thought into, you know, their, their package. I also have these stickers here. I usually just put these on my live sale ones. It's just with my information on YouTube and Instagram. Let's just put it back here on the back. We'll just go ahead and add one on there. And now let's get a box. I've got a couple boxes up here now the thing with the boxes and this is just one that i'm recycling from someone that's something that someone had sent me you don't want the box to be too big but you don't want it to be too small so what i like to do and again i will recycle like this is paper that came in another package that i ordered so basically you don't want you don't want the sides to touch your item i have this pretty well wrapped in many layers of bubble wrap so I should be okay with it, but I've got this extra paper that came in another package that I'm just going to use and I'm just going to tuck it down in there on the sides like that to protect it. And then put a little bit more on top. You don't want your box to be able to be smushed down. It needs to be rigid enough to wear another you know, the post office is going to probably put a box on top of your box. Take this old address label off. So you want to make sure that when you push down on it, it isn't, it doesn't really have a lot of give to it because it, your box is going to get, it's going to get tossed around as much. You can put fragile stickers on it all day long. It's going to get, it's going to get tossed around. So just, just know that. 
Um, I don't like any of these little things sticking up, so I'm gonna make sure that's all off. Okay, so it is going to ship priority because it weighs over 16 ounces. So we'll use our scale. And it weighs one pound, 7.5, so I'm gonna round up to 1.8. I always write that on the box because I'll forget. I don't think this box says what size it is. So we're going to measure the length. It is nine by six by, what are we gonna, nine by six by five. All right, and then I will go over and take this to the computer and get the label printed off. All right, so now that we got that package done, let's go ahead and go back over to the table of Christmas joys, okay? And I'll show you the things that are gonna be available tomorrow during my live sale. Now, if you don't like Christmas, then you may not want to come to the sale tomorrow because it's all Christmas. I have 62 items that I'm showing and it's all Christmas. So let's turn it around here. Okay, well, there she blows. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas in July. I have a lot of little things. I mean, there's a lot of smalls. I do have some bigger things. Like I showed you before, I have the Rushton Santa and the Sola Santa in the fireplace. I've got these boots. Now I went through a phase last year where I wanted a whole entire display of boots. Santa boots. And I sold them all but two. These are the two that I have left. So I'm going to offer them up. I, I just like to group things in a grouping, like having a whole grouping of angels, having a whole grouping of Santas, having a whole grouping of boots. And there's the clowns. I already showed you those earlier. We don't need to mention them again. I do have some pillows that my mom has made, so they will be available tomorrow some fabric and some doilies and some tablecloths and some tree skirts. I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Over here are the things that I'm going to be having on my Instagram sale. Now my Instagram sale is immediately after my YouTube sale. So you, then you just hop over immediately after and I sell 15 extra items. I have some really fun stockings. Look at him. I have a little tree trinket dish. Some more pillows. I love this plastic Christmas stuff. And isn't this fun? Noel with Mrs. Santa Claus holding a present. So these are the things that are going to be up for sale tomorrow on Instagram and YouTube. Okay, so I need to return a couple emails because I had some people that were had messaged me about some things that they have seen in my videos. So I need to return those emails. I don't know what my deal is, but I've been really slow at getting back at email. So if you've sent me an email, I'm working on it. I try to sit down at night when I'm just sitting down and I'll try to go through and answer some emails. And I haven't done that. And honestly, it's, a lot of it is because of Maybell. She kind of takes up a lot of our time, which is great because she's, she's so cute, but it, I mean, it's, it's a lot of work. So, all right. So what I'm going to do now is get caught up on some emails and get ready for tomorrow, clean up, tidy up a little bit, and then go home and start dinner and do laundry and do all those things that I have to do at home. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here so I can get it edited and up tonight for you to watch. And I hope that you enjoyed this little vlog. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you leave me a comment after the video. It really does help my videos as far as in YouTube's algorithm. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, you could just leave me a Santa face. It doesn't matter. Uh, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.